Welcome to our evening prayer. We'll be using an abridged version of the Anglican Prayer Book Liturgy, which starts on page 54. This evening we commemorate St. Catherine of Siena, a lay person associated with the Dominican Order, mystic activist and author, who had a strong influence on the papacy and was an outstanding figure of medieval Catholicism. She was born and raised in Siena and at an early age she wanted to devote herself to God against the will of her parents. She joined the Dominican tertiaries and was marked by mystical phenomena including invisible stigmata and a mystical marriage to Jesus. She was canonized in 1461, declared the patron saint of Rome in 1866 and of Italy together with St. Francis in 1939. She was the first woman who, along with St. Teresa, who was declared a doctor of the church, and that was in 1970. She was also proclaimed a patron saint of Europe in 1999. And the picture in the background is by Giovanni Battista Tiapello, and the reference above was from Wikipedia. Let us pray. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 15 and I shall be reading a new English translation. Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent? Who may live in your holy mountain? The one whose walk is blameless, who does what is righteous, who speaks the truth from their heart, whose tongue utters no slander, who does no wrong to a neighbor and casts no slur on others, who despises a vile person, but honors those who fear the Lord, who keeps an oath even when it hurts and does not change their mind, who lends money to the poor without interest, who does not accept a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things will never be shaken. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson is written in Matthew ch chapter 25, verses 31 to 40, and I shall be reading from the New English Translation. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate people one from another, like a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundations of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, I tell you the truth, just as you did it for one of the least of these brothers or sisters of mine, you did it for me. Here ends our lesson. I'd like to invite you to pause the video 
and then take a few minutes to reflect on our reading and on the example of St. Catherine. When you're comfortable to continue, please resume the video. Let us pray the prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may no not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. The Baptismal Creed I believe and trust in God the Father who made the world. I believe and trust in his Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed humankind. I believe and trust in his Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God. I believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works proceed, give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Preserve us, Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. May the Lord bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine on us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. God bless you all. Stay safe and stay well. Amen.